Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So my name is Chanel and I am doing my most requested makeup look, which is this eye look right here. Um, face, not really recommended, but I would recommend. But um, eye look, I'm using the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Bling Boss Palette and this is what it looks like. It's gorgeous. Um, I've had a few people text me too saying please do a tutorial on this look and so here I am filming it for you guys. Um, on my Instagram I'm going to be posting a few video questions, like a few questions on what type of videos you guys want. Um, I'm in this phase right now, I'm like super amped, super excited to just start producing content which is strangely weird for me because earlier this year I was like wanting to do it, wanting to post content but just like ugh not feeling it. So send me your ideas. I have a list of video ideas, but it's just a matter of like what you guys want to see first. And I want to produce content that you guys like too. Not only just me. Like these are all my ideas with my, with my friends too, but like you guys want to watch it? I don't know. So anyways, um, longest intro ever. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And if you want to see how to get this look, keep watching. There's something else I should mention. So there's something that I should mention in this tutorial, about this tutorial. It's that, it's proof that no matter when life seems super messy and that things just won't work out and that you wanna give up and just like start over fresh and start a new life, that if you make do with what you have and just keep pushing through, life will turn out beautiful and it'll be great. And yes, I'm comparing how to blend out eyeshadow to life, but <laughs> that's an eternal for positivity and things. Take it. <laughs> that's not often. All right, bye. Hey guys, so I'm gonna start my eye look with some concealer. So this is the most requested um, tutorial I have, and it's using the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Bling Boss Palette. So you can tell it's super pretty, like this black is gorgeous. One day I'll be brave enough to try it, but for now we're going to be using some of the, just the basics. So first I'm going into Hush. So now that I have Hush on there, I'm going to go ahead and take Rockstar, which is the shade right here, and take it on a little bit more precise of a fluffy brush, and really, okay, I'm tapping it off so that way, like, if there's anything that needs to fall out, it go ahead, it can go ahead and fall out, and I'm going to gently start going in the crease with this just so I can get some of that purple, like a light purple pigment to it. Just very light, so you can see that it's starting to develop. See, like in my mirror, I'm like, okay, that's purple. And I look over here at my screen, and I'm like, okay, where's the purple? But it's ever so slight. And that's what we want, is just like a hint of it. So now that I have this established, I'm going to go in with Rockstar, the same thing that we put all along the crease. I'm going to do it a little bit more precisely on the edges. So I'm packing it and then I'm starting to bring it in just a little to the crease. So really what I like and trying to accomplish is just a ton of this packing and kind of making it seem like I made my own color at the top, which if you can obviously tell this color and that color is completely different. Same color, but because of the way that we are applying it, it comes off as different. And that was what I was trying to achieve. So, 
packing and I'm kind of, and I'm just trying to establish a little V right there. So there we are with my V. And then I'm going to do the inner corner as well too. So with purple, it's really easy to start making it look like a bruised eye, which is not the look I want to go for. So if we were to leave it like this, it looks like I have a purple eye because of the blending. But we're going to be cleaning this all up and fixing it so it looks pretty decent. So that's what we have right here. I'm going to I'm going to quickly do the other eye and then we'll be right back. Okay, so I essentially have those down. I'm going back in with my fluffy brush into the shade Hush, the one that we originally went in with, and I'm going to blend out the crease area. So that way it's not super harsh looking and not as like as defined as a black eye. So we have that um, with this same brush that we did to go pack in all the rock star colors. Okay. That same brush, I'm gonna go into this shade called Mystic. And this is just a little bit darker um, of a color than Rock Star. And it's more brown. So I want to put that right like where we did these in hopes of creating a little bit more depth to the look. And by depth, I mean like a little bit more darkness to it. Because um, it will come together, I promise. All right, when you think it's not, it's gonna happen. established look and you're probably thinking so hello like what are we doing with this um so what I'm going to be doing is taking some of my concealer some concealer on the back of my hand and what I'm going to do is carve out like where this blank spot is so if you ended up getting a lot in that middle that's totally fine be good so some on a little, you see how like tiny this little brush is? So I am going to do this and then kind of going right there right there. So it's kind of like a cut crease, but a halo cut crease. What I'm going to do is take another brush and I kind of alternate between these two colors. Like alternate meaning it it doesn't matter which one you use. You can go in with this shade bling bling or glitz and glam or ballsy. Honestly, they're all beautiful. But I think that this one is kind of the color I want to go for. So I'm gonna take ballsy on a brush. Really dig in and Going to layer that on top. And brush sometimes I think dry, so I'm going to do one with the hair. So I'm going to go in with a used brush. And then I'm gonna go into that shade Rockstar, this one, where we originally packed everything. 
and I'm going to lightly tap into the, um, the edges of this little halo cut crease. So that way it creates a little bit more of a gradient. And I'm going to blend out the top with Posh again. I'm going back into Mystic, which is the darkest one, and ever so lightly tapping, like rubbing that into the edges again. Adjust the outer ones. And I'm going to go in here, really focusing on that corner. So that way. The closer it gets to the middle, it can be more gradient. Okay, so I'm gonna take that brush, go into Ballsy, and spray my brush. That was such a weak spray. That on, and see how it just intensifies that color. Perfect. I'm just using a setting spray. You don't have to have six plus, like, I'm just using a setting spray. And honestly, you could probably just use water, so there's that. Okay, so, and there we go. So, I like this. I think if we just put on some lashes, everything will be good. So that's what I'm gonna do right now is just put on some lashes and then I'm gonna put on um, my foundation and primer and then we'll do the rest. Okay, so lashes are on. Um, these are, what are they called? They're from Morphe, they're called Go On and Fake It. Um, as you can tell, they're super dramatic and I feel like they totally bring in this whole entire look and make it look like, bam, this isn't just a messy, smoky halo eye. It's dramatic too, like it's sultry, it's so many things. So with that, this little precise brush that I went in with Rockstar, I'm going to take Hush Hush and Rockstar and just gently line that underneath my eyes. So I have this established, the under eyes. You can see it's a little bit of that purple. And now with that um, little more defined brush, I'm gonna go in with Rockstar and really dig up a little bit closer to this water, water line. Okay. I personally don't like to do super blown out under eye, so this is it for me. You can keep going in darker, but that's not me, so that's that. I'm gonna put a little bit of mascara on the bottom, and then I'm gonna do my brows off camera, and then we'll get to the highlight and finishing and lip. All right, you guys, so I have my brows on, mascara. Um, now we're gonna go in with the highlight. So the highlight I'm using is called Show Gold. It's from MAC. Um, I really just want to swatch it for you guys. So like, if you see here, like it, it, it just looks gold on the pan. But, I don't know if you can start to see that. Let me remove my bracelet and show you. It is, yeah, I can't even like tell. Just kidding, let me not show you at all. It's just like this super pretty reflective purple and gold and it's like you literally can tell me there you go um you'll see it's kind of like purplish and it's kind of gold and it's kind of like pink it's just super gorgeous so is that the most awkward swatch you've ever seen probably i think it is um so because i want to be so extra night and not only am I getting like this news from my cousin but it's also my six month anniversary with my boyfriend 
Um, I just want to look super pretty, super glammed up because it's just overall a really special night. So I'm spraying that highlight and look at that. So I'm saying there's like purple, there's pink, and there's the gold. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And then just because I'm super ex like I have to highlight my nose and I think this is just pretty. Highlight the cupid's bow. And I know that this isn't a natural highlight, but it it highlight everything. Moral of the story. Highlight everything. Um, I'm gonna take that highlighter too and just go underneath the brow bone. Very lightly, because I don't want it to be like super like this. And look at that. I'm gonna spray my face real quick. Um, this is the Profix Illuminating Spray from Makeup Revolution. It's fairly cheap. Is it my absolute favorite? No. So why am I using it today? I don't know. I'm probably gonna go use another spray off camera. Okay, so I went in with this Tarte Lip Paint. It's in the shade Exposed. It's perfect new for me. And I just think that this look is absolutely beautiful. Um, if you want a little gloss, go ahead and do like a sheer little gloss. I'll just put on this, um, it's a little pink tint to it. Probably doesn't really go with this. It's the Pure Peach Tint from, see, from Too Faced. It's their Sweet Peach Oil, like lip oil. I'm just gonna do right there in the middle so it gives like a little sheen pop. And yeah, guys, this is the finished look. Um, as you can see, the look did come together. I promised it would come together. Highlight is on point. I wanted to do something a little purpley and just inspired by this palette. Um, the shade kind of reminds me of Show Gold, but just an eyeshadow form. And you guys are probably like, how? This is way sheer. This is like, you can see it on the eyes. Yeah, I don't know. But anyways, um, if you guys wanted, you guys could do an inner corner highlight. I think that'd be stunning. I should probably do it. I probably won't because I want to go get ready. Um, but anyways, yeah, thanks for uh, watching this video, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this. And I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye!